Hey everyone, Red here, and I have another fun build for you to try on your games, and that's going to be my Death Grip Wraith build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have the new Dragon's Grip. After we damage a generator for the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that interacts with it will scream, reveal their location for 4 seconds, and become afflicted with the exposed status effect for 60 seconds. Dragon's Grip now has a cooldown of 40 seconds, which makes it feel so much nicer in game. Second, we have Make Your Choice. When a survivor rescues another from a hook while we're at least 32 meters away, that survivor is going to suffer from the exposed status effect for 60 seconds. Third, since we're going to be kicking gens, we're going to be running nowhere to hide. Whenever we damage a generator, this is going to reveal the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of our position for 5 seconds. And last but not least is oppression. When you damage a generator, up to 3 other random generators also begin regressing. As far as add-ons, I'm going to be going with the Shadow Dance. This will increase our speed of vaulting windows, breaking pallets or walls, and damaging generators by 60% while we're cloaked. And I'll be going Swift Hunt, which will increase our uncloaking speed by 12%. Overall, I came up with this build while playtesting with the new Dragon's Grip and having a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. If you have a build you want to see on the channel, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. If it looks like fun, you might just see it here. Much love, everyone. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, and we got Larry's for the first game. You know, I'm is that a, is that a lizard on my back? I'm kind of digging the skin. I think the new skin's really cool. But... More importantly, let's get to the build. I think we can have a lot of fun with Dragon's Grip. Wraith is one of the best users of it, in my opinion. So hopefully we can get some great value, especially with that cooldown. Hey, what's going on? Let's see if I can maybe get ahead of you a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. Hold that for me. Another survivor was over here. We'll see where they're at. Hey, you stuck around. I like that. We got some big swings. Thank you. Like, even the weapon looks really, really cool. The idea of the build overall is pretty simple. We want to keep everyone exposed, or at least two or three survivors exposed at a time, if we can. And then just using the hit and run from Wraith to make a lot of pressure. Cool. If she would went for the pallet, I would have just done a super lunge there, and I should have been able to catch her either way. We want to try and take this survivor as far away as we can. Uh, not too horribly far away from objectives, but far enough away where we can get make your choice value. Remember, we have to be quite a distance away. Okay, here you are. Hold on. We got a gem we can kick. There we go. Okay, there's nowhere hide. And now we just chill. We wait. Claudette. Oh, getting interested. She's curious. And now we get Dragon's Grip. Hey, gamer. Oh, no. And we get bodied in. And we'll take it. Though, because we are too close, we of course don't get make your choice right here, but that's okay. We'll take her all the way over here to this hook instead and see if we can get make your choice from this. But that's essentially how you want to do it. Or, if you get a lot of survivors trained and not touch your gen, you can just leave the gen with Dragon's Grip on it and have a good feeling that they're not going to touch it. Or if they do touch it, they might get super uh, paranoid and just run away from the gen in general, which gives you a lot of uh, slowdown in the game. Okay. Here we go. Uh, actually, I'll go over here for this. Not sure if this is the best call. Dragon script might be better to go for. They haven't been on it just yet, though, so we're pretty fine. Oh, we held forward. There goes Dragon script, but the other survivor came all the way back here, I think. Oh, maybe not. I might have missed him. I was looking for the Sable, but I think I missed her real quick. Okay, that's fine. We'll get rid of this, and we'll just head through this way instead. Yeah, I must have just missed the Sable. I saw the Claudette, but I saw a Sable holding forward for a while. Oh, there's Sable. Hi, Sable. Thank you. And that's the make your choice. Went a little out of my way, but you know what? It was worth it. Every exposed hit for Make Your Choice of Dragon's Grip is always going to feel worth it. Though now, we get to go ahead and kick this gem with Dragon's Grip and Oppression. See if anyone's nearby. Ooh, we got two people nearby. Uh, oop, I want to try and hide a little bit. 
a lot of this game kind of comes down to, or like when playing with this build, you might do a lot more on the uh, stealth side of things, like by hiding by gens. Ah, uh, but we got that as well. That's the fun part, though, right? Like you get to make your choice, or you're gonna get dragon grip while you're chilling out of gen. The problem is that Claudette is so far away. I can go for it in a second. Make your choice exposed last 60 seconds. Oh, here you are. I mean, literally the perfect timing. That's also why we bring oppression, though. Just so we can get extra regression on generators. Alright, let's leave it. Uh, we still have about 30 seconds of exposed for the Claudette. Let's see if we can maybe find her. They did heal up, so maybe she'll feel a little safe right now. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's you. Cool. I'm gonna have to rush this, though, probably. Having this opened up makes it a really strong tile. I need to hold it forward. Uh, I'll be close. It'll be really close. And there we go. Just at the last second of Make Your Choice. You love to see it. Survivor's having a really hard time right now bouncing back. Oh, no. You actually did it a little too soon. Great for me. Really, really bad for you. Hey, you want to uh, take a hit in a second? Thank you. I will take it. Like, I'm definitely going for you after this, that's for sure. Actually, let's see if maybe I can cut you off. No open door there. Oh. Never mind. This works equally for me. And you got nowhere to go. Don't worry, they're gonna come try to take hits. Hi. Yeah, go that way. Oh no. Oh wait, we got a wall, we're good. Yeah. Thank you. The two for one special. You just love to see it. It sounds like Claudette's probably gonna rush that save. Yeah. Claudette rushed the save. That's probably the smartest move she could have done. Allowing me to get two servers hooked up could be really rough. Alright, give us some nice oppression value. Don't see any missed skill checks. Do have somebody over here as well for a split second. But that gen is still regressing. Oh, these guys are in big trouble. Hey, what's going on, gamer? It gets to the point where, like, survivors don't even really want to heal up because they'll be spending so much time healing up, but they're also exposed, so is it worth it? it it's a fun little, it's not like a mind game, but just more like mental warfare on them. Like, go ahead, heal up. Most of my damage, or most of my downs have come from uh, exposed anyways. Hey, will you drop this for me? That way I can kick the gen after. Thank you. I still have like 20 seconds here, unfortunately, so I think I just need to go for the hit. Or get more resources. Hold on. Thank you. That's why we bring Shadow Dance. Get rid of the resources for later. Oh, no, that's such a mistake. She went for the window. Fair enough. I had like a little bit of an animation from a grab right there. Just for a split second. Alright, you know what? I'm going to venture over here. I'm going to try and get more dragon's grip value. Just really quick here. Hey, everybody. Oh, that missed skill check. So nice. And now... Where'd you go? That eh, works. We'll wait. It's all, it's all about being patient. Oh, you know, I didn't think Claudette would be the one to go for it again. She must be feeling really brave. There we go. Big swings, and we get it. Yeah, we came this way. Hey, what's going on, gamer? Hold that for me. I mean, you think she'll come back and get this? I'd find it funny. And then there was one. The question is whether or not she'll go for the save, but if she does, we get to make your choice. She did continue around the edges. Here's some scratch marks, so we're nearby. There you are. What's going on? Your head your headpiece gives you away. Just bright eyes looking at me. Probably could have continued that. I thought she was going to vault there. Oh, well, we'll just hold it forward. Got 
Got another strong pallet. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to break it. But now you don't really have much. Oh, just going to the corner. Fair enough. I'll take it. And there we go. That is our first game. Let's go ahead and move on to our next. All right, we got Blood Lodge. Let's go. Definitely, of course, a big fan of Auto Haven, so I'm normally not going to complain when I get it. Uh, depending on how the main building layout is, though, it can always be fun. Looks like it's the strong layout. Hey, what's going on? This basically means they'll just always have access to a vault. Main's always pretty solid here, though, in terms of having like good access to a vault, but this allows them to tie it in really well. Not if they pre-vault, though. You are not looking behind you, gamer. Who else is here? Hey, what's going on? Can I get a resource from me real quick? Actually, I think I get a hit now. I do just the tip. The feathers. The feathers got them. All right, let's break this and start looking for a hookup. He's busy. Ooh. Looking for that save. Just not a good angle. I normally go a little bit farther, but I don't know if anyone's actually over here in the corner. Nope, doesn't sound like it. No one's nearby. We have someone who's working on Libon on main and nothing here. Okay, so we definitely don't have a ton of gen pressure. Oh, we're already spacing, I see. I mean, I have a survivor who's on hook. He came over here and healed up. As long as there's someone on hook, I'm okay with getting rid of a few resources. Thank you. All right, now let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, I don't really need to chase in this area if I can actually help it, but maybe we get the resource and we play off of that. Well, now I'm more interested over here. Got to be a little careful. Still a lot of things to play on. Yeah, you see how he's sitting by a tile? This is smart. This is how you play normally around make your choice. Make your choice is still uh, lethal, though. Because he's got to be able to run us for 45 seconds. And uh, no mistakes. Nice. Got it. Mm, I probably would have dropped it, but I probably would look for the stun. We'll see. No, he makes it to the other pallet. Good job. I don't want to, like, give him the ability to greed ever. One more pallet coming up. Let's see if we can get in front just a little bit. He's trying to stop us. Hey. Come on. And we'll take it. He was almost able to run for the duration. It was definitely a really good attempt. On the right side, though, now we have our make your choice back and ready up. The downside, though, is that did get them quite a lot of time on gens. So we'll have to see what's going on. I'm more interested in these three gens right here just for, like, later on. Hey, what's going on? There we go. A little bit of oppression. Somebody got the save over there. I believe it was Sable. I could be wrong. Thank you. Can I get in front of her here? I'm going to try. No! There we go. Remember that make your choice is a really long timer, so you don't always have to beeline right for that said person and give up everything. If you have something that, like, a good chase in front of you, or a easy down or something along those lines, you know, feel free to go for it. Oppression's coming up here soon. Yeah, he's gonna play on this. Remember, he can infinitely take that vault if we're not uh, out of stealth. Oh, there you are. And you know what? Make your choice is still up unless you have Vigil. And you don't. Vigil's a really solid counter. Hey, take that. Take that somewhere else. I have no need to chase the thing. We're good. Our one-to-ones are paying off pretty hard right now. No, I'm going to have to chase this guy now. There. Just in case the Fangman comes up. I could always leave and go for the Fangman, though. 
Oh, Fangman's going for the save now, actually. Hold on. We'll move right here. We'll go ahead and let her have the save. There it is. And we can continue to ignore this guy who wants to play on the very strong side of main. Which isn't a bad idea. We just don't have to follow those rules. Is it a double fake? It is. Nice try. That's a hard one in this area. Even if she was able to mind game me there, like, you'd have to go 40 something seconds roughly of on a TNL. It's just, it's not happening. Oppression back out. He hit the skill check. Good. I can't ever really get a good angle here. Everyone's pretty much injured except for the Fang. Do we play it out? He's going to get back to it. I don't think there's ever a way I can block it. We got him on the mind game, but looks like he has life. So he's going to make it right back into the same pallet loop. And it even loops back into this pallet. So we're just back into the same vault. There he goes. Surprised he had the momentum. I thought he kind of took a weird sidestep, but that's okay. You got another pallet here. Nothing here. Only one coming up. There we go. So it's kind of a dead zone throughout here. Fair enough. This map can spawn some really brutal, like, pallet combinations. You can get a really bad RNG set where, like, there's, like, six pallets through this side right here. Six pallets on the other. Like, it can, it can become very pallet dense depending on RNG. Okay. Double oppression miss skill checks. You'd love to see it. What is going on, gamer? She goes this time, I bet. Yeah. Has life. I'll go for the Fangman afterwards. She let go of the gen most likely because I was right there and didn't want to get grabbed. We'll see if maybe we can kick that gen with Dragon's Grip. Oh, you know what? She gets that done. Yeah. There, hold that for me. Definitely an odd one. There. Take that somewhere else. I don't really need it. Uh, make your choice went off on the sable. Oh, you're over here as well. Depending on how he plays. Okay, she's got Decisive Strike. Quick note, by the way, she has to mend, so she will eventually bleed out of there. She cannot stay in there. And he's being very aggressive, too. Do you both have Decisive Strike? I don't think they understand. Make Your Choice is the best perk against Decisive Strike. I, it's literally a counter for Decisive Strike when it, like, falls off. So I'll put my prediction right now that both of them have Decisive Strike. And now we just wait a few seconds. See? And as it comes off of cooldown, now we can pick up. And we don't have to worry about uh, Decisive Strike at all. There we go. I am kind of surprised by how many gens got done. But to be fair, I guess we played on this side for a little bit with those two. Oh, looks like we are rushing over to the door. Hey, gamer. Oh, yeah. I have no mercy today. And there we go. That is today's build. Overall, it's been a blast playing. I always enjoy Wraith builds, and this was a really fun one, so I definitely recommend trying out your games. And let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, and until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.